guys. Hi everyone. Welcome, Welcome to P I N B Bed. <laughs> Thanks for being here as yes. always. <laughs> we are doing a Sunday matinee today, yeah. which honestly is my favorite. I got like all my favorite. When I watch a matinee, it's like, if that's like my <laughs> thing. I'm not like a late night snacker, you know? So like during the day, I'm like, mm -hmm. I got my drink, I got my snack. Hilda, <laughs> I was like, girly, there's a new chick flip. We need to go see it. She's like, oh, I already did. And I'm like, when? She's like, in the middle of the work day by myself. I brought my blanket and it was a whole thing. I was like, uh, what? It was a Saturday. <laughs> okay. It was, was 11.20 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I was one other person in the theater and I was sick so I like couldn't see anyone and so I just literally got a seat in like the very back corner and I grabbed my Kleenex box. Uh, I literally brought a Kleenex box and like my when I'm sick I love like a boba like a boba smoothie mm -hmm. and so I just had that and I was just in my back corner watching my chick flick because I was just, like so bored and lonely because I'm like sick and I don't want to get anything else sick but literally it was like 11 a.m. I think I'd already finished a movie I watched a movie that morning I watched Spirited <laughs> Spirited it was December 23rd with like, oh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. About like 7 a.m. I finished that. And I was like, what am I going to do all day? And then I was like, I'm going to do a matinee. <laughs> anyway, so here we are. Sorry for that again. ramble. Yeah. We are a doing matinee. a matinee. And I don't know if this is going to be like a feel-good matinee. I'm a little bit oh, stressed thanks. about this one. This was a, really into the during the live, remember, uh, we put all the DVDs. Yes. Pick this one out. It won the poll. It's called a Ransom. By a long shot. Yeah. It's called mm -hmm. Ransom. It's got Mel Gibson, who I don't think we've seen a Mel Gibson movie we haven't liked. Yeah, so true. Braveheart. Patriot. The Patriot. Patriot. The one where he can read w women's minds. We don't what women channel, want? So yeah. About that movie when I, see I it. watched all the Lethal Weapons. I loved mm -hmm. those. The the soldier one, the Vietnam War one. <gasps> oh yeah, with the legs. Oh, guys, sometimes I am laying in bed at night. No. And I think about that scene, and my whole body goes like numb. I can't. It haunts me. It haunts me. Oh no. Yes. Yeah, that well, scene that's haunts me. Unfortunate. Yeah. You gotta do some EDMR or something, reprogram <laughs> yeah. that in your head. Anyways. Here's the thing though. It's called Ransom. It's Mel Gibson on the front, surrounded by pictures of like what looks like a missing boy. My anxiety has been super bad lately. I don't know why, but I do know that nothing makes it worse than missing children oh, or no. something happening to kids. So we I'm a little nervous, but I think I think it's gonna be a good film. Mm -hmm. Did you ever watch Prisoners? What do you think the answer to that question is? <laughs> yeah, that question is <laughs> H-E double hockey stick, no. True. But I straight up like had a it. panic attack on camera. And that one had a very ambiguous ending. And I'm just going to say that no, the ending is what you want it to be and what I want it to be. And this one better have a very happy ending. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sick of movies not having happy endings. I'm so sick of ambiguous endings. Yeah, like me. freaking Crouching Tiger. Yeah. Yeah. And then people are like, none of the movie has a happy ending. I'm like, no, real life doesn't have happy endings, but I watch movies for happy yeah. endings. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> um, Patreon, like, subscribe. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, Ron Howard. He makes emotion. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I found his commercial. Come on in. I came from fairly humble beginnings from upstate New York. And to be honest, nice I'd never even up. been in an airplane before. <laughs> I ended up doing 28 combat missions for them. You look better than those when frogs we kicked off, we had a six-seater and one DC-3. <laughs> the most important thing to me these days, family. That's a good thing about an airline. It actually brings families closer together, among other things. 1971, I had the devil in me back then. But today, people change. Sort of. <laughs> I'd vote for him. Yeah, that's, that's what every commercial on like all fly endeavor. <laughs> okay, that's his wife in the whole Lethal Weapon franchise. That same girl. Oh, fun. I love that. I feel like I recognize her from something else. Next month he's doing the underwear billboard in Times Square. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, oh crap! Oh no! Did you hear that music change? Mm-hmm. The pipe. Without expecting you to know everything about his business. <laughs> the pipe. David's on the carpet. Why are they showing the kid? Oh no, Cass. That's soundproofing. Where did you get the tile in the kitchen? It's great. Oh, good. Weezer, that's a cake question. I have a perfect time question. How do you feel about Jackie Brown filing a civil suit against you from his prison cell? Sean, why don't you uh, brush, get ready? I'll be down in a minute. 
Just giving you a heads up, because this brown guy now says that he has proof that you paid him to head off the machinist strap. He has proof that you even initiated the bribe. Oh, let me... oh Bob <clears> Stone, <throat> Sammy Adams from the Daily News. Uh, Adler. Why don't you make sure he gets Can we get it? Listen, your boss is going to have to deal with this. Jackie Brown says he was set up. <laughs> Lie down and take a nap while I wait for him to turn up. God, this mattress is lumpy. This mattress needs to be turned. <laughs> No laughing, no laughing, no laughing. Are you upstairs? No, he's uh, not mad. He's uh, curious. It seems like someone's always mad at you. Do you have a bad feeling in your heart? Mm-hmm. You're showing too much of the kid. I know. What's he from? I don't know. That feels good. Don't let those guys get to you, okay? So he's he's not a politician. He's the no. CEO of an airline. Endeavor Airlines, I think. Chair lady of the Junior Science Fair. This is Catherine Mullen. What do I know her from? Dad? Yeah. Why can't I enter? Oh, well, there's a judge here, and uh, how would that look if you won? At Evander Childs High School. Mm -hmm. so oh, coordinated attack. Oh, shoot. All of Did he invent the first drone? It's not fair, Dad. I worked really hard. But well, we talked about this before, didn't we, Sean? Yes. Okay. Come on, lighten up a little. Enjoy the day. Right now, this is oh. your last. I yeah. know that guy. I'm anxious for you because I feel like you. <laughs> Solar system here. Guy here is what? Sign. Okay. I don't like it. Oh. Oh, that was so fast. It's literally your worst fear. No worries, Sam. Mr. Go with the microphone right now. Sean. Sean. Sean Mullen, please come to the judges' table. Oh, I hate those bands. Oh my gosh. Why do they even make those bands? I know. No, look! <gasps> oh. oh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. My body's numb. Oh, he's probably just busting chops because we wouldn't let him enter the contest. Who didn't we call? Have they not called the police yet? Sean? You have email. Oh my gosh, that was so much worse than I was expecting. Do not involve the police or the FBI. If you do, I will kill him. Do not inform the media or I will kill him. You have 48 hours to get the money. Is that oh. Open your mouth. Did you open your mouth now? Open it. Open it. Open it. What are you doing? I feel like that computer guy has a conscience. Look, we talked about this. Why did you leave him? I didn't. I saw you. You walked away. All right, I'm calling the police. Call the FBI. For Christ's sake, just let me pay this back. No, bastard. please, call the FBI. The FBI just spent three months trying to bury us. Do you think they give a damn about you or me or... Tom, they know us. Okay. All right. My only solace is that they're in it for the money. They're not, yes. like, they don't get off on yes, they're not like torturing children, children. I don't think. I just... Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mullins are waiting for you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mullins, how are you? Bonnie. Hawkins. People, this he, she, it, well, whoever, it's got enough brains to snatch my son right from under my nose, but they only asked me for $2 million. Knows you won't have a problem copping it up. My wife and I, we believe that this might be somehow connected with the uh, Machinist Union indictments. Okay. Now, I have been investigating exhaustively. Now, Jackie Brown's in jail where he belongs, and he's pissed, and I think he's got something. Yeah, obviously, we're very aware of the Jackie Brown situation. And, and now we are going to get into all of this in time. Just hang loose. Just sit tight. Hang loose. So we hang, hang loose. Sit tight. Time. Which one? Oh. I know this is hard on you, right? You gotta hang in there. Oh my gosh. I can't. What we call the X Factor. What's the X Factor? What is that? If you didn't know he's in charge, get your boy back. You follow me? I don't know if I can handle this. And ask for some sign that he's alive. Any information you can get. Then tell me he has an allergy. He has some medical condition. You want to know what kind of weather is he in? Is he indoors? Go! Get Go hurry! Back. Oh my gosh. Hello? Cancel it. We got it. Brenda Chance, 4108 Utopia Parkway. That's the secretary. Yeah, we know. Is our son dead? 
Don't ever think that. <gasps> Wait, so different girl? I don't, I cannot tell. Open your mouth, it's all right, it's full. Why can't you starve in the desert? Because of all the sandwiches there. <laughs> what are you doing? Who is this woman as the ringleader? Do not like her. You want to get to know him, get a little relationship going? You think that's going to make things easier or harder? Is he for real? Yeah, I'm for real, B. You for real? <laughs> I saw at the beginning a name that said Donnie Wahlberg, mm -hmm. and that looks like Mark Wahlberg, but a brother. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know Mark Wahlberg? The I one know, who but I don't think... The, that guy who just... Watch now. Now that you think of Mark Wahlberg, think of him. Which one? Left or right? The oh, one in the oh, flannel. Fuck, man, the kid's in a cocoon. Get he the voice, mm -hmm. even. What the hell's he supposed to tell him? Oh, I could see it a little bit. You never said nothing to me about killing no kids. Do you understand what is going on now? He's all not right. your pet. Look, look, this is real. You don't got to talk to my brother, all right? You got nothing to say to him. You think you're running shit here? My man is running shit. Oh, your man. But if right. I have a problem, I'm going to address it. Yeah, I understand. I have to tell you something. I paid him off. Tom, this is not a protected conversation. See, most guys at the top, they've acquired their airline. But not me, no. I built Endeavor from the ground up, and no bad is taking it away from me. No gangster like Jackie Brown. He's in jail and I'm not. So my question to you is, did Jackie Brown take my son? Do you want to go ask him? Oh boy. I'm not I'm not quite sure about this whole paying off thing. Why did he have to pay him off? And yeah, what? I think it was like a contract job of workers or something. I don't totally know. I don't know. Where's my son? What? Do you think that ending up in this place is the worst thing that can happen to you? What are you talking about? Where is my son? Somebody nabbed your kid. And you think that it's me. I don't got no connections. I got no money. And you mother are accusing me. Nice. Hey, I got six of my own kids, and I would die for every one of them. Why aren't you in here? Huh? I believe him. I don't think it's anything to do with it. I recognize every single person in this film, but I cannot place them. I think because my emotions are like up uh -huh, here. Uh -huh. I feel so anxious. I can't even enjoy my chocolate heart cinnamon bears because I'm so anxious. Oh, these guys have conscience. I can tell. Please just let the kid go. Whoa, whoa. Hey, look at that. You ever seen that before? Uh, no? Are you going to find your prints on that? No. Uh, I don't know. I never saw him before. Please tell the right, I smell a little bullshit. Here. Got any uh, Frankenberry cereal? You have a cop instinct and the other guy in there is up to something. Go follow him. You follow him? I think so. Oh, Where's okay, get out and call for backup. Get out and call for backup. Are you a known scumbag in this precinct or not? Now, a high-profile kid got snatched yesterday. You have no idea who knows about it, huh? Man, NYPD, FBI, do you? Check your head. So what do you do? You, a known scumbag, walks into a grocery store filled with cops and you ask for a box of kitty cereal? I think that makes you a four-star asshole. Gosh, I want him to call for backup, though. He's gonna get knocked over the head or something. Yeah. What the hell were you gonna do with the videos? The kid's got tape on his eyes, for Christ's sake. Don't be stupid again. Is this guy in on it? No. Please, no. That's the man that's running it? No! I was just dreaming about you. Was it good? Mm -mm. Oh. Oh, I hate it. These guys, these guys are wacko. They don't listen to me. They don't respect me. No, you're both wackos. Mm. Why do we need them? Why? We can't do this alone. And the kid, I'm scared shit of this kid. I think we should just do this now. Get rid of him. Get it over with. Because he's like a time bomb. Hey, hey, hey. Listen. You know what you're really scared of? Your own humanity. Because you're good. And that's okay. It's all right. How good. You evil freaking people. When the time comes, the kid's my problem, not yours, all right? No. Oh. So what is the connection? Is it? I have no idea. How did, like? I keep seeing him tied up like that with those handcuffs, and uh, <laughs> I can't help him. Can't help him. Come on, man, let's do this. Come on, come on. I want all these FBI people to be good, right? They're all going to be good, right? Okay, game time. Hello. Are you good to go? Uh, am I? Am I what? Get in the car and drive. 96th Street West. Come alone. I'm, I, I don't have the money yet. I, I need more time. I'll get it. I, I just... Don't f*** with me. Sean has asthma. Is he in a cellar? How's the linguist doing with my accent? No, hey, there's no one here. Are you sure? Hey, you think I'm a f idiot? I want to get this over with. Let's keep it that way. He'll call you. Oh, that's the girl that tattooed then. And she was working that night yeah. at the party. Did you get it? Where, where did you trace it to? We crashed the computer. 
You oh. freaking scumbags. Understand that this guy, I don't know where he's coming from, and I think he's a professional. Now, if he starts throwing his curveballs out there, then we might not be able to protect you, Mr. Mullen. I just want to give him what he expects. That's all the stuff again. I'm going to get you back with your parents. Oh. Glenn. Oh, my gosh, he's so little. It makes me feel actually yeah. sick to myself. Yeah. Get him back. I feel like this is it can't go smooth because there's still probably a lot of movie left and I don't want it to keep going. 500 units CP. We have a visual <sighs> uh, I feel like the helicopter yeah, is a little, little obvious. Uh, well, they have police resources. Yeah. That is so messed up. Get off at 125th Street. Go right three blocks. To the Casada Rec Center. There's a locker key down by the drain. There'll be somebody watching you. You won't see them, but they'll see you. <sighs> to get the wire off of him. They want him to go in the water. So much as remove your wristwatch. Your son dies. You have the key. Go find the locker. You got seven minutes. I think there's actually going to be a key down there. I don't know. And then how does he get the son back? He's only talked about... Who's gonna ruin all the... We lost him. Track all on subs that exit the building. But how... He didn't tell him how to get the sun back. Uh -huh. Yeah, literally, he could put the money in and... Going too slow, get your ass moving, put on the hat and the overalls. Use the stairs by the shower. Put the money into the new bags. Then leave the building and find a Monte Carlo. Leave the phone with the suitcases. And drive to the Holland Tunnel. We'll be watching you, Tom. But you need to speak to your son. Yeah, he needs to demand that more. Yeah. Getting a reading on those suitcases. They haven't moved. Tell the SO leader I want that building cleared. Oh, the police guy would know that they were tracking the money. Yeah. They made him put them in different bags. Mm -hmm. So, how you holding up? You having a nice swim? Not bad. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. You know, thanks for asking. How's Sean? Having the time of his life. <gasps> Why me? Why you? Because you buy your way out of trouble. I read about you and that union guy. Should have gone to jail for that. I saw you on TV, Tom, telling everybody how innocent you were. I looked at your eyes. You know what? You're a lion. Dog, pal. You're a payer. You did it once. Now you're gonna do it again. What's going on? I don't know. This is the bad guys, because that's yeah. the sick brother. Clark, man. Ain't giving Jimmy the money until he cuts the kid loose. Just ain't gonna do it, man. What are you... Cop. That's fair. That's... It's a business transaction. Both sides get what they want. You ever what did he say? The time machine? No. The uh, land of the future, right? Only two kinds of people in the world now. The Morlocks and the Eloi. The Eloi's, they live above ground, but it's like the Garden of Eden there. How do I get my boy back? No, the Morlocks. They live underground. They're down there with all this machinery. They're doing all the labor. Every once in a while, a Morlock comes up to the surface and snatches an Eloi. Takes him down there. All right, I'm done driving till you tell me what I want to know. They don't eat grapes. They're cannibals. They eat evil. That's smart, because he has to stay close to the walkie-talkies are going to work, right? Time machine. It kind of reminds me of New York City, you know? You're an Eloy. You and all your friends walking around like zombies with no fucking idea of the shit going on. There. So does this make me a Morlock? I don't like to think of myself. I guess it does. He needs to call the Every police. Every once in a while, one of you gets snatched. You on the move again, Tom? Yeah. Okay, here we go. About a mile up ahead, the road splits. Take the exit on the Saddle River, Rose Stone Quarry. Drive 10 miles an hour. You give me the bags, I'll give you an address. I need to know how much movie's left. I know. <sighs> oh my oh gosh, my. we're not even halfway. Get back in the fucking car! Give me the address. Give me the money, man. You said you were gonna give me the address. Do you want to see a kid again, man? Damn, give me the address! The FBI is involved. They're gonna kill him. They have the money now. We have an eye on him. Oh my gosh. But he was the only good one, too. Go faster. Although this is the only good guy protecting the kids. I know. I don't kids, want him so to get I don't captured. Know. He's the only one being nice to the child. Oh my gosh, and now he's shooting people. <gasps> Holy crap. Where is he? What are you done with him? What? Stand back, come on, step back. Get away from him! Christ, don't let him die. God, don't let him die. What? Hands 
seven, sir. I gotta find Sean now. Why did they shoot her like the stomach? Or like the back or the leg? You killed my son. <gasps> I told him no cops. <laughs> the guy had a gun in your face and didn't have a choice. They thought you were in direct danger. He went wrong. Just say my son is dead. You killed the son of a Now why did you get him? Come on. This guy is the brains in the family, and we also know he's a lot higher up the criminal food chain. In the meantime, what we got to do... <laughs> oh, get all right. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. And they said not to go to the media. Hopefully, we'll have more information for you later in this hour. We'll bring you full developments tomorrow morning, beginning with Good Day New York. Building hey, well, what are you doing? Calling my mother. And you can't do that. Not from this guy out of here. Calm down. What's the matter, Jimmy? You don't want my mother to know that his son's dead because you up. Kit goes in the ground, Jim. That's it. That's it. The money. What? I mean, you said you were gonna do it anyhow. Shut up. What? No. Where are you going? Get out of my. <gasps> the only thing your brother wanted was the kid to be okay, yeah. you idiot. I brought you in on this because you had brains and balls. The kid's gonna die when we don't need him anymore. <gasps> oh. Now use your fucking head. This thing is not over. I swear to you, right now, now more than ever, this guy will pay. Baby. <gasps> oh my gosh. I know you. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. What, you think your dad's gonna come in and save you, huh? Nobody's coming, all right? Because this is it for you. Oh, how could you ever? You all right? No, yeah. No, you're not good. This is all freaking this shit. Kimber, listen to this. It shouldn't be a problem. That. What do you hear? Yeah. Play it back again. It shouldn't be a problem. It sounds like... What kind of horn? Yeah, I know it's a horn, but what? It's like a foghorn. It's too fast for a ferry. Why would this guy, these people, why would they, why would they ever let my son go? Morlock man gets his money. I don't think we'll ever see Sean again. That's if he's still alive to begin with. Well, now, are you talking about not paying? No, no, we pay him. No, no, wait a minute, listen to me. Morlock man says the pickup guy will give me an address for Sean. I get there, the guy sticks a gun in my face. I said, you want the money? Now give me the address. Where's the address? You should have seen his face. He had no, absolutely no idea what I That's was talking true. about. That's true. Tom, you gotta play the odds, man. If you want to see your child again, you gotta help me with him. Oh my gosh. Mullen, you think you can run a game on me and f me out of my money? I did exactly what you said. You did? I said no cops. Now we got a f***ing circus out there. Take the FDR drive down the Williamsburg Bridge exit. No, I know he's dead. Take FDR drive down to the Williamsburg Bridge. My son is dead. Go to hell! Tom, what did you do? No, it's okay. Oh, you took God. power. You took power. He still wants the money. <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, I need to help him. It hurts me so bad. I know. Dad. Sean? Williamsburg Bridge. And you assholes listening in? I smell you clowns within 10 miles of that money. I'll gut this kid like a fish. <laughs> no helicopters, no wires, just me. Please. Oh Please my don't gosh, ruin for everything. the love, let him get his kid back. Are you freaking joking? Oh. This is the one good thing they did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're trying. I know. The FBI. Yeah. I don't know. Head up to Houston and Broadway. I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't. Change your plan. What? Turn on your TV, Channel 5. Keep watching. Do you understand what, what I'm telling you? If they Go want on. the money. What, the what? Hello? David, I need you to contact Don Campbell at WNYW. Are you taking control back? Okay. What's ready? going on the news? He's going on the news, he's gonna to talk to them. He's right though. They are planning on killing the yeah, kid, no and, matter what. And now like, you have what they want, so you gotta take some kind of power. Why would they keep him alive? They... Well, we're gonna get you set up. I think right he's like, put my kid in a public place, yeah. and I'll give you the money. I would say, have one of my airplanes. Yeah, like seriously. Could... Good afternoon, we are interrupting this program to bring you an exclusive report. Tom Mullen, Sean Mullen's father. Mr. Mullen? The whole world now knows my son, Sean Mullen, was kidnapped for ransom three days ago. This is a recent photograph of him. Two million dollars in unmarked bills, just like you wanted. But this is as close as you'll ever get to it. You'll never see one dollar of this money. Because no ransom will ever be paid for my son. Not one dime, not one penny. What? I'm offering this money as a reward on your head. Dead or alive, it doesn't matter. 
So congratulations, you've just become a $2 million lottery ticket, except the odds are much, much better. Do you know anyone that wouldn't turn you in for $2 million? I don't think you do. The brother, the authority out. I'm running a full page ad in every major newspaper every Sunday for as long as it takes. You return my son, I'll withdraw the bounty. You will never see this money, not one dollar. So you still have a chance to do the right thing. I think I would be so God mad at him, well, at least for not talking to me about it first. Yeah, but think about it, like everyone would be like, I'm gonna check out my neighbor, like just in case, yeah. right? Where's the kid? Hey, where'd they take the kid? You know. <sighs> I'm so scared. But I know if I give him the money, he'll kill Sean. I would if I was him. You think you're smart. You got everybody off balance. <gasps> Left field. The one thing you thought would never happen does. Oh, yeah. oh. What are you doing? Oh, you turned her around, didn't you? I mean, the guy can piss two million dollars, <gasps> but he's willing to risk everything just to f you up. Now you're off balance. Lay down! You want to stay down there forever, maggot? This is my show. I say when it's over. My son, too, and hey, I want you to pay him. They will kill him. Do you think any of them, do you think they can? This just us. Katie, okay, please. I don't think I can take this if you're not with me. Don't quit on me. <laughs> what are they doing right now? I think what you did was wrong. It put your son at greater risk. Now, I need you to withdraw that reward. Just pay this bastard. Now, I believe that you will get your son back. We will nail this son of I have never been confronted with such an unbelievable act of sabotage by a parent toward the recovery of their child. It is all on you now. I don't like the phrasing of that. Me neither. I trust him. You trust him? Yeah. He's obviously doing what he thinks is yes. best. He's not sabotaging. That's we no. always managed to land on high ground. Don't make it personal. Like with the Jackie Brown situation. She doesn't know. What exactly did your husband tell you about Jackie Brown? She doesn't know. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Thank you. You could do it. You could turn him in. She could do it. She could walk away with two million dollars. I think he's a fool. This child's life is in danger. Pay the money. Get on with your life. He I tried it. He tried to pay. She told more of the story. Yeah. No, because it doesn't matter what any of these people think. He calls me at my home today. He asked me to look in my mailbox. He told me to give you this. He said if the police know anything about this, if Mr. Mullen knows about this, they'll kill Sean. Oh, oh Claire. Growing very, very tired of his bull. Get him to take back the reward and pay me my money, or you're gonna find pieces of your little boy all over New York. <laughs> voice at all no no he was whispering i he was whispering you paid off to save your airline why won't you pay off to save your son it's not about the money no it's not about the money i hope you can forgive me for that and for what i have to do now what are you doing Tom? where are you going what are you doing all right just think before you act <laughs> I'd like to make a statement. Undeterred in my course of action, and I'm raising the reward. Uh, I'm raising it by $2 million. What are you doing? I want my son back. I don't know how this ends. <gasps> gonna kill her. Oh my gosh. You've ruined my life. Who the hell do you think I'm doing this for? Want to talk to your son? Yes, of course I do. And Daddy? Dad? Son. I want to listen. You listen real, real good. You got one more chance to pay up. This is it right now. What's it going to be? Put him in a public place. No. Do you have any idea the rain of sh I can put on you? Look at your wife. Look at her face. Know what I can do to your boy? You better get used to crawling in the dark for the rest of your days because I am going to get the best group of manhunters and I am going to dedicate my life to tracking you down. Think he can threaten me? Huh? Who do you think you're dealing with? Give me the money! Don't you understand English, you useless piece of sh you think you're suffering right now, huh? You got no idea what suffering is. If I don't get the cash in one hour, this kid is dead! I'll have your head on a f***ing pike. You understand me? You can kill him right now! I want to talk! You kill him! You kill yourself, you mother Give me back my son! You want him? Yes! You want him? Daddy! <gasps> no, 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 no. He wouldn't. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Please, Who do you kill? Who do you kill? Please, 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 please,
God damn it. You didn't kill him, right? I don't know. You killed him, not them! You. No! He didn't kill him. He didn't kill him. He didn't kill him. Uh, but they talked for a long time. He's like, oh, he's just like, he's like, he's so mean. <gasps> you can't do it. She can't do it. Please, for the love. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Someone see him. I will never forgive any of you for making me watch this movie if he jumps or if such. So Please, no. Please, please, please. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. South 40, Porter Base. South 26, 27, 18th Street, 1013. Officer needs assistance. I have several armed men in the house. Possible kidnap situation. Officer in civilian clothes. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh. <gasps> Shoot him again. <gasps> he can't get away with this. He cannot get away. <clears throat> He's gonna come out like the freaking hero. I can't. That could not be a thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a cop. Where? Hold your fire. I'm a cop. He's all right. Oh my. <laughs> no, he's gonna say something to get himself away. He's gonna be like, good to go or something. No, the kid's gonna be able to identify the voice, don't you think? I don't know. Oh, don't make him see the house. <laughs> Sean, it's me. Daddy. Is he alright? You're okay, buddy. You're okay. We got you. Got you now. Hi, sweetheart. Take me home, okay? Oh, sure. Sure. Don't. No. No. Don't you dare thank him. Thank you. Tom. Tom. He's coming this way. This movie never better not freaking end. I do. Jesus Christ. It'll work for me. Petering. One guy starts blasting away at me. The, the other guy, he goes to run me over. So, you know, I just did what I had to do. You want to wait for backup? I didn't know it was a woman till after. Please, you have to find something guilty about him. You have to. Many investigators believe that indeed the mastermind of the Mullen kidnapping may still be at large. <laughs> Will you make it? <gasps> you cold, honey? You better practice. I'll be back. Frick, frick, frick. Uh, listen, I got Sean waiting for me in the park, so maybe we... Hey. Hey. Sorry to show up like this. Oh, hell no. Come in. I want to talk to you. I'm very proud to meet you. Uh, forgive me. I, uh, I thought we were going to meet on Monday. Maybe I screwed up. You're right, Monday. We, that's what we said. Uh, I don't want you to get the wrong impression of me here, but I was hoping we could do this today. You know, the reward and all, because uh, I got to tell you, it's uh, kind of crazy around me, you know. To tell you the truth, I never killed anybody before. Having a hard time with it. Thanks. Uh, so you can't just hand it all over at once. Jimmy? James? James. What's gonna, what's gonna I know there has to be something. You cannot just write that as a check. Can I ask you a personal question? Come on, come on, come on. Give it away. Why didn't you pay the ransom? Because I was dealing with human garbage. No contract would have been honored, not by them. And the funny thing is, I would have paid ten times as much if I had any sense that they'd stick to the deal, but... The thing that really kills me about that is the woman. Been in this house five, six times over the last year. Nice, pleasant, you know, you just can't... I don't know how people can walk around, but... <sighs> you know, in fairness to the dead, we're all a little two-faced in this thing. <gasps> Come on, tell someone, tell someone! Obi! <laughs> the survival mechanism. You know, as a cop, you should hear some of the stuff that's been thrown my way over the years. Mom, Come on. forget about the gloves, honey. He wanted to come home. Kate, uh, Mr. Shaker's here. He knows. Call. Me. Yeah, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Call 911. What do we do? What do come you on. do? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hide, come hide, on. hide. Do something. He's got guns. Mr. Oh, Shaker's got guns. <laughs> He really doesn't want to talk. She should know the voice too. Yes. Please help me with some things downstairs. I'll be right there. Don't look, don't look, don't look guilty. Oh, this is uh, one hell of a deposit you got here. Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't remember they kept replaying yes. that over yes. and over? With the horn in the background? background. Well, oh. you'll probably want to be on your way. 
He knows. The cops are gonna get him now. He knows. But he bought a one-way ticket to somewhere. You know, there's a back door out if you want to be a little more. check is Tom. What'd you think? I'm just gonna waltz out of here, you lying mother Have half the cops in New York waiting for me while I cash this thing? Look. Shut your mouth. Come on, the son. The son, right? The son would have told the mom. How did he know he knew? Just by he was acting weird? Maybe. Everybody was gonna make out fine. But you had to go and put it together. Oh, we got a little problem. Tell me that part again about why you didn't pay the ransom. You were dealing with what? You had my son. You have no idea what human garbage is. You're gonna pay all right. Right now. <gasps> Do you have an account I can wire the money to? We go right now to my bank, and we wire the money from my account to yours as the push of a button. We'll just go down to the bank and get it done. Pick up the phone. Wire it from here. You do not call the shots. You, I'm not picking up that phone. You got that? I'm not picking it up. Go ahead. Kill me. Just kill us. Let us live. Doesn't matter. Anyway, you cut it. You're on the run. Now, you can come with me to the bank and be on the run with $4 million, or you can just start shooting and be on the run with whatever you got in your wallet. I got my own plane. I can fly you out of here myself anywhere you want to go. You can still win this thing. We do what you say. We go to the bank. If anything goes wrong, you're gonna turn around and I'll be gone. Okay? And if that happens, anytime your kid leaves this house to go to school, see a friend, you're gonna have to ask yourself, is today Jimmy Shaker Day? I got to him once. I'll get him again. Oh, he's so crazy. I'm not gonna want money. Do we understand each other? When can this be over? <laughs> oh. <gasps> Where are we going? Mexico, Guadalajara. David, this is Tom. Uh, fuel up the jet, I'm going to Guadalajara. Yeah, well, something came up. I'm on my way to the bank now. He called the FBI. Is the kidnapper with you? Absolutely. I'll explain everything later. Give Katie a call. How you doing, Jimmy? Nice oh, to wait. meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Good to meet you. Just you just want to tackle him. Yeah. What do you think of this guy, Mr. Mullen? What can I say? He's the man. Hey, did you okay. Okay. <laughs> You gotta take it easy. Turn off your side, right? I know, sometimes I'm like, can you be a little more subtle? Subject is an armed New York City detective. Did you hey, hear? Oh, hey, hey, it's my birthday. You know, the guys are trying to pull something, Mike. Can we talk to you for a second, man? No, we have to detain you. <gasps> Come on. Come on. I would press in the bullet wound. Yeah. Ah. Oh, he did, he did, he yeah, did, he did. Okay, let him, where's all the police officers? I want him to do this. Help, help. Oh my gosh. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's running, he's running. He doesn't have a gun though, right? No. Please don't die, please don't die. Ah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's a freaking brave heart right there. Where's his gun? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Get the gun, get the gun, move it away, move it away from his hand. It's me, Ronnie. Tom, put the gun down, put the gun down. Oh, Tom, put the gun down. See your wife, see your wife. Put the gun down, Tom. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. That's right, now back off, Tom. Don't put your gun down, police officers. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Good job, FBI agent. Good job, FBI agent. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Did he get shot? Oh, he's breathing. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating so much. Oh, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, thank you. No. Oh my gosh. gonna say that it was just like okay it's over the okay, whole things are gonna be okay time. and then it's not and then it's not and then it's not <laughs> oh my gosh I, i'm like shaky me too like i just like yeah i feel like i had like an adrenaline like i was in fight yeah. or flight the whole time yes for two hours yes, yes. <laughs> i feel like we're gonna crash hard yes. i know i feel like my like heart rate i'm like oh my gosh like calm down a little it was bit so emotional oh my god now i'm almost like i know it's just a movie and i'm like a little embarrassed because i feel like i was just no. but like that is literally my worst fears and i feel like in prisoners at least 
you didn't really know what was happening the whole time, where the kids were, but like there they kept showing him. I know. And every time it was like- Like your stomach just like drop. Yeah, oh. and like it instantly makes you want to throw up. Yeah. Like yeah. to torture kids or mm -hmm. like- I know, I kept thinking, I'm like, she's never gonna let her kids go to the park again. No, I'm like, never. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's just like- But there was like, like, like we said at the very end, it was like for a second you thought you could breathe and then you can't. Yes, and then it's like, and like finally, I'm like, okay, he's figured it out. The cops are gonna come. And I'm like, now he's got a gun to his head. And I'm like, oh my god, he's got a gun in his yes. ankle. And he's like, yeah, it was just. Did the son die? Did he see alive? Like, it was, oh, oh, that part was that cruel. Was really awful. Yeah, it's hard because I'm like, obviously, it's a really good movie. If we were that, like, oh, if yeah. it did that to us. But also, I'm like, oh, I can't watch it. It's too much. I know. Like, I watch movies that sometimes, sometimes with people, and they literally don't move. Like, like there's a like, craziest thing will happen, and they're just like watching and i'm like i'm sorry did you just see i'm like are you asleep like, what happened like <laughs> no, I, like, I, know. I feel like the whole time i was like oh i, I know i can't be here and i know that's why i can't watch these movies because i'm like because i'm a freak we're freaky rex <laughs> well i feel like we just like feel it deeply yes like, yeah like it the story their emotions are our emotions yes like the wife oh. i'm like Oh, and I'm like, I like felt her turmoil with her husband too, but I'm like, I need you guys to be together, but also I'm being I know. pissed too, and I just don't want to do. I know. Mel Gibson is so such a good actor to so me. So good. Like, so good. You just always want to root for him. Uh -huh. I, mm -hmm. I can never see him as a bad guy because I'd probably be on his side. I know. And like, even, like, I feel like this is a true test of a great actor. When they can do so many things, like his like breakdown scene. Oh my god! I'm like, I like felt that in my bones. I like know. that like was heart wrenching and just like. Oh. oh. Sean's okay. Yes. They're they're still married. Yes. And the bad guys, gone, gone. The one bad guy, good guy, the one that died first. Yeah. That was like really tender. He's like, I'm not giving the money until the kids are free. He had he had a little bit of humanity in yeah, him. Yeah, he really did. Oh, I can't believe that guy was bad. You know, in the in the grocery store. I was like, oh, yes. yes. He I was like, he's got that cop instinct. And then all of a sudden, oh, he became my the gosh. most ugliest, most disturbing individual. Yes. I couldn't even look at his face. Yes. In me. one second. Oh my gosh. Isn't I that know. crazy? Yeah. As soon as like you knew he was going to be part of it, I'm like, I freaking hate his guy. Yes. But like, he became so. I don't know. You know. It's like the character arc. It's like the enemy arc. Like, woo. That yeah. was exponential yeah. enemy arc. Anyways, a highly emotional. Yeah. <laughs> But literally, Mel Gibson doesn't make a bad movie, does he? I know, he's so good. Okay, thank so you good. so much for watching along with us. We're gonna go. I'm like, do you do some deep rest? Yeah, yeah meditation. <laughs> thing, the hot oh, bath. Rest. I know, I'm like, I cannot drink any more caffeine. <laughs> I will lose it. Oh, okay, thank you so much again. Yes, we'll see you next you. time. Bye, team.